today I'm going to take a look at um, Steam Voter now that it's back up quickly and also a new one that I'm testing because uh, Steam Voter disappeared at the beginning of last week with various website troubles called SteamAuto.com. Um, Steam Voter, if you know it already, is uh, normally a fairly reliable system. I don't use it a lot, but it's got a fairly standard UI with just this Steam Power and your voting power. And then a rules button and you just add the rules in of how much vote power, how long you want that vote delay to be, and just put in the people that you have. So I have a whole list here of about, I don't know, three or four pages worth of different people. Not too many, but people who comment and reply and uh, just people that I've met in person, just giving them a bit of an upswing from you know a lot of the um, delegation and things like that that I have on my Steam account. So when it disappeared this week, Steam voter went down uh, I noticed it in my obviously in my payouts but also I didn't get the drop down next to my payouts telling me who had voted on it and I've been kind of using that to see who's around it's almost like a geo positioning of oh somebody was around and commented on it and if it is a auto vote then obviously every post gets one on it so I use that to right click and open that up in another browser to remind me to go and have a look at their blog because I don't always remember you know, the 30 or 40 people that I upvote for. So it's, it was a dual purpose thing for me. It wasn't just getting financial rewards. Obviously, uh, when your post only gets like 42 cents, it's not the same as a post getting 12 or 15 dollars. And uh, obviously that makes you feel a little bit like you're talking into the ether and nobody's there. But that's just the nature of the beast of realizing that these automated systems in place, when they go down, it can have that kind of knock-on effect to anxiety and stress when things in the real world kind of shut down, banks don't work, and you can't get money out of the ATM. So I went looking for another one, and I found this one, Steam Auto. And at first I was a bit like, oh, I don't know if I want to sign up to this because the login process looked a bit iffy that it wasn't a Steam Connect. Now, Steam Connect is a little bit like Facebook Connect in that it's a very secure service that Steamit, I think Steamit, or somebody in the community uses to connect you to the APIs, the blockchain APIs, to be able to log in and log in securely. And that's what the whole Facebook Connect was about from Facebook, that you could use their Facebook login, login to different sites around the web, uh, meaning that you didn't have to have multiple logins and passwords, you just had your Facebook account login. So this uses your Steamit login using steamconnect.com. You have to register first, which then gives you the choice. Do you want to just use Steam Auto and your login and password, or do you want to use Steam Connect? And obviously, once you, once you use Steam Connect, it connects all your Steamit details in there. Now, I don't think it's multi-user, but I wanted to highlight a few areas that I think are really kind of much better than Steam Voter, or at least I haven't really dug into Steam Voter to see if they've got similar services. As far as I can see from this, it's just add account and rules. Uh, admit admittedly, you can add multiple accounts here, Steam accounts in here, and I don't know how you do that in Steam Auto. But I'm going to step through these quickly anyway, because I think there's some powerful stuff in here. So the same feature that you would have in Steam Voter is this fan base on the left-hand side. So you can add a person here at the top. You can add a weight of how much your upvote is going to be from 0 to 100%. And obviously the wait time. So I've just copied across some of the ones that I could remember. And uh, that's another point I should make. When Steam Voter was down, I didn't know what voting rules I'd put in place. So it's probably a good idea now that it's up to copy those rules down into a notepad so that you have these people um, if it goes down again. Because when a service tends to go down for me... Um, or when I see it go down for any length of time, I do get a little bit paranoid it's going to happen again. So it's probably better to have a redundancy anyway. And I can just go in here once I've copied them across to Steam Auto and untick this active rule. So if Steam Auto goes down, then I can come back to here and activate this. So it's nice to have a bit of redundancy. Um, yeah, so I've, I've copied people's details across and set them up 5%, 20 minutes. And also at the bottom down here, there's another section of listing who the top fans are so using steam auto you can see that crypto octopus here has got 218 followers and you can follow his follow him and be a fan and also upvote him do all that sort of stuff one of the thought one of the things i really like about steam auto is that it also has curation trails so if you want to you can follow a curation trail of people that are going around on steam it upvoting certain posts and they have an active following and so I've got five listed here and I've only put 1% weight because 
Steam Auto was brand new to me and I didn't know what I was voting on and I don't know how many posts that these curation trails are or posting on a day so I didn't want to put anything too crazy to reduce the uh, delegation on the account too quickly because of obviously the people that I follow and making sure that they get upvotes so this is kind of cool because you can follow a project and if you have a certain amount of delegation you're going on holiday um, you're not going to be blogging for a while it's a good idea to follow one of these curation trails and set a, a, a weight limit of how much you want to upvote and then every single post that that particular curation trail or that account upvotes then you do the same you upvote them the same which is kind of nice um, if you want to follow me there as well because I do a lot of delegation for introduce yourself then just do a search for me down the bottom I think it says here you can follow a trail or become your own trail as well so if you're actively doing that every day for two or three hours you're doing curation and upvoting do put yourself on there um, do a dig around for me. I think I'm like way down the bottom here, like 256. Like I don't even think I have any followers on there. Um, fan base, like I said, was the fan base one with the setting the settings, the same as Steam Voter. Another interesting part as well is schedule posts. So I've scheduled a post here for my birthday, which is going to happen in three days' time. So you can set from this drop down how many hours from now that this post will get posted so you don't have a scheduling feature in steam it which is uh kind of weird but i tested this out by making sure i did a draft post first to make sure the all the alignment and the images were loading and then i just did use the program um a website to find out how many hours between now and the date and time that i want to publish uh, which was about 67 hours so this is going to post in three days time and it means i can forget about it for my birthday i can just post it out around 6 30 a.m when i was born and go about my day and know that I've posted on my on my uh, on the blog on, on my birthday. Another thing you can do is you can upvote comments. So you can see I've got Dale here. So basically what this does is it waits 15 minutes and then there's a 5% upvote wait. Um, this means that each user will get one upvote on each post and maximum of two upvotes per day even if they write more comments. So that's kind of cool that you can give people a upvote on their comments on your blog as well uh, automatically. Especially if it's somebody who comments regularly on your blog, they're going to come back and be posting on your blog if they know they're going to get a little bit of remuneration for it. And there's also claim rewards. And this is a nice feature as well that I don't know if you uh, get frustrated with it or if you're constantly going back to your wallet page to click on that green button at the top to receive your um, benefits that you get from the blockchain. But with this, you can just select enable or disable and it will check your account every 30 minutes and do that automatically. Um, it has made cut down the amount of times that I go to the wallet page. I don't know why, but I'm really, really clicky, even if it's like a small amount. So all you see in my like auto feed is every time I see it, it's a button to click. I've got like some kind of addiction to just, oh, there's a button, I should click it. Whereas this, every 30 minutes, it just moves those funds to your uh, SPD um, uh line and then the rest of it goes automatically into your steam power balance so it's a cool little service and the reason why i kind of validate it and say it's safe to use is that i think this was built um by a suggestion from crypto octopus and said that he wanted it to use steam connect and i'm pretty sure he uses it and i got in touch with this user mahandara i can't even pronounce that m-a-h-d-i-r-a-y-i I got in touch with him and said, why doesn't it not support Steam Connect? And he kind of said, oh, sign up. And then once you've registered, you'll see that the Steam Connect thing comes up. So he is a trusted user on Steamit. He's not capturing any login details from that initial form. It's just a login and sign up to get on Steam Auto. And then you use Steam Connect, which is safe to use for logging in with your Steam account. So check it out. If you've been looking for another Steam voter, uh, in the last week because you're worried about the other one going down or you've seen people not voting on your stuff or you want to be voting on other people's stuff um, it's definitely a program to use I've not found any other one apart from Steam Voter and Steam Auto but I'm going to be switching over all of my rules from Steam Voter to Steam Auto today